Now after you wash the paint, drying it is equally as important as the process and tools and chemicals in which you use to actually wash it. So for that, I like to use a Glacier 1100 style drying towel. Now, there's a lot of different towels in the market and chances are at some point in your life, you were handed an old chamois and someone said, use this. And without knowing any better, you used it. Well, that was me when I was a kid. My dad had an old chamois that was 20 years old and I thought that was the best. What I did not know is that every time I put that on the paint and I was moving it around, I was scratching the paint. And the reason why is because the chamois, they cause friction. Microfiber, especially a Terry Weave style microfiber, does not cause any friction. As a matter of fact, it reduces the friction on the surface because of how stout the fibers are. So there is a science, believe it or not, to how you dry your vehicle. Do not use an old leather chamois. Do not use an old bath towel. And it's important that when you buy a new car, buy new drying towels. Here's the deal. A New paint job or even hiring a professional to remove scratches is far more expensive than the minimal cost of investing in brand new drying towels. So there's a lot of towels in the market. Make sure you choose carefully which ones you pick. I like to use the highest quality. And to enhance the finish of the vehicle as I dry it, I like to use a graphene coating wax. So this is not a spray on wax. This is actually a spray on coating wax. So it's wax fortified with graphene ceramic coating. And what that does is it adds gloss, it adds slickness, adds protection. As you can see, this Acura looks phenomenal and using it's really simple. So before the towel touches the paint, I'll take the graphene coating wax and I'll just do a few mists on each panel and then I'll take the towel, which I usually use a combination of three different size towels. The one that I start with on all the horizontal panels is 30 by 50 inches. You can see just how large this towel is. You could use this to dry an animal or a small child or even yourself. And it has pockets, which is really nice. So if you have like a large truck or maybe in a motor home or a boat, having these pockets makes it really easy to dry the vertical panels. But for a car, what I'll do is I'll use some spray wax and then I'll take the microfiber towel and I'll actually throw it across the surface. And then with uh, sliding it across, just pulling the edges, one pass is all it takes and it completely dries the vehicle. And it's imperative that you use a high quality drying towel besides the fact that you're not going to scratch the surface, but also to dry it very quickly because as the water is sitting on the paint, there's a chance that you'll have water spots. So you want to dry the car quickly as possible and using a graphene coating wax also helps reduce the chance of any water spots. So I'll repeat this process starting with the hood and then the windshield and then the roof and then the trunk. So that's when I'll use the largest of the three drying towels. And once those surfaces are dry, and it makes sense to dry those first, and the reason why is it doesn't make sense to dry the vertical panels first because the horizontal are the ones that are going to be more susceptible to water spots because they're facing up and the sun is beating down. So always dry your horizontal panels first. And then for the side panels, the vertical panels, I like to use a 20 by 30 inch glacier style drying towel. And again, this is the same material, same construction, it's a whopping 1100 GSM or grams per square meter. It's very soft and it's two towels sewn together. So you get twice the absorption capabilities. And the process is the same. Take your graphene coating wax and simply mist the surface and then work your way down the side of the vehicle. And it's important that depending on how tall you are or how short you are or the size of the vehicle, don't let the towel actually drag across the ground. So with this particular Acura, I can hold it wide open and go down the side of the vehicle. But if your car is smaller or maybe you have shorter arms, you can actually fold the towel in half so it doesn't drag across the surface. So I'll do this over all the vertical panels. And then to make things a lot easier when you're actually finished or when you think you're finished, I'll use a car dryer to blast out water from the cracks and crevices. If you've ever washed a car, you've dealt with the frustration to where you wash it, you stand back, you go, wow, it looks great. And then you go inside or maybe you move it in the garage. And then later on, you'll see drip marks from the mirrors, from the door handles. Maybe you have some water spots on the wheels, from the grill. I mean, modern cars, they have really complex body design. So what I normally do, and you can do this outside as well, but I'm in Florida, so I like to get out of the heat. I'll pull the car in the garage and then I'll use a car dryer. So a car dryer like this one has um, a filter. So it actually blows heated and filtered air. So the intake is at the bottom. 
the air comes in, the motor and the fan pull in, and as it passes the motor, it's naturally heated. So this makes it possible to blast out water from the cracks and crevices where no towel would ever reach. And there's a lot of different varying qualities in the market. This particular one is made in USA. It's steel, it's powder coated. These things last a lifetime and it has a rubber tip. So if contact accidentally occurs, you don't have to worry about scratching the surface. So what I'll do is I hold this guy in one hand, it's very lightweight, and I'll go along the different parts of the vehicle, like the emblems and the mirrors and the door handles, and I'll blast out the water. And then I'll use a smaller towel like a 16 by 16 inch, just to capture the water. That way it doesn't actually dry in the panel. So take this guy, you can fold it, and you can rub the surface as the water is blasted out, or you can hold it like this. So I'll repeat that process all over the vehicle. And then last but not least are the finishing touches, including dressing the tires and cleaning the door jams and getting any spots that you missed, which I'll cover next, so stay tuned.